I'll try to overreach the Kaji easily. And uh, guess what? I'm on the way to the river. And today I'm joined by Dave. Hi hey, lads, how are you? <laughs> and uh, Dave is a complete novice fly fisher, never having caught uh, a trout on a fly rod ever. And today he's going to be thrown in at the deep end and I'm going to coach him to catch a trout on a dry fly. So normally most people are introduced to, to um, fly fishing, they fish maybe a still water and catch a stocky fish which let's face it is relatively easy and um, then they might go on the river maybe catch a trout with a wet fly which again is relative to dry fly fishing is relatively simple and um, basically most people catch their first fish more by accident than design but we're going to set out today to get Dave to catch a trout for his very first time on a dry fly so be sure to stay with us right folks um, I've just spotted a trout right in here there he is there again I don't know whether you can see it on film he's approximately three rod lengths away now we spent a little bit of time just trying to get ourselves into position here right to get ourselves into position there he is again can you, maybe you can see him maybe not anyway he's rising just there and I'm going to demonstrate to Dave what you should do in this circumstance to try and catch a trout on the dry fly. The idea, Dave, is to do what we've done so far is to get as close as you can without alerting them to your presence, right? So it takes a while to learn that sort of stuff, Dave. So stalking basically, you're stalking into a position where you can cast easily to the trout without them knowing you're there, all right? The second thing is, is to get the fly to the trout in the minimum amount of casts. The more casts you make, the more likely you are to alert them to your presence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip in here, just down here, nice and quietly, get into the river really nice and quietly, and I'm going to try and cast my fly up to that trout in the minimum amount of casts. Hopefully he'd take it first time. If he doesn't take it first time, my chances are reduced, I think, by around 50% with each subsequent cast. So the, idea, the, the ideal thing to do is to get into position and catch your trout in the first cast. Now it doesn't always happen, so I'm gonna give it a try here, so here goes. I'm getting in really easy and quietly. sometimes when you get in the river what can happen is you can scare a fish that's right here and then he goes up along and scares the rest of it. So he hasn't risen since I last saw him unfortunately. So that means maybe I've already put him down. But I'm going to cast the fly up anyway in the hope that he's still there. I'm casting out to his right. I'm casting the line to the right and then I'm going to cast the fly in. Oh, there you go, nothing to it, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it probably looks very easy, but um, for a complete beginner, it's not really easy. It, uh, you have to combine a few things together. You have to be stealthy, you have to be able to cast rel relatively well in order to get the fly to him, like I said, in the minimum amount of casts. It took me three casts to get the fly to him correctly, and then he took it. So that's it there, that's it in a nutshell, so the next fish is yours. Thank you. There in the ideal spot, right? Now we spotted two fish rising here, and this is Dave's first ever go 
at fishing a dry fly. In fact, it'll be your first ever trout caught on a fly rod, full stop, assuming that you catch one, right? There's a fish rising. There's one over near the bank, do you see him? Mm -hmm. And there's another in the middle. So there's at least two fish there, if not three. Now, what Dave is going to do, come up along here, Dave. Keep, keep a low profile, keep down, right? We don't want to let him know we're on the way. You see this little weed bed here? You're going to use this weed bed to camouflage your entry into the water. So you're going to get in just this side of the weed bed and then you're going to go carefully out and just around that weed bed so that you're just, say, a yard around it and you're going to fish from there, right? That gives you the ideal opportunity to cast a lovely straight line up to him, okay? Off you go. Keep down now. We'll get in right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, right there, yeah. Off you go. Get in, as, get in as gently and as easily as you can. Sit down is the best way. Sit down and put your two feet in the river first. Really gently. Don't try not to make any noise. Now walk out nice and, nice and easy out to your right. Wade as gently as you can. Go on out another bit. Go on, keep going. Go around the corner, so to speak, of that weed bed, right? Just go around the corner. Now cast from there, okay? Pull off enough line. Now pull the line out of the top of the rod, good. Now pull off enough line that you have enough line to cast up to where we saw the fish, which is roughly, what, three rod lengths up. You ready? That'll do you. Go on, off you go. Nice and gently now, okay? That's it, lovely, lovely and gentle. Flick it up there now and let it, let it fall. Don't pull on the fly, you're caught in the grass. Pull it out. Cast up into the middle, Dave, into the middle of the run, okay? Into the middle. Good, watch it now. Keep in touch with it without pulling on it. And be ready if he takes that you strike fat. Don't allow a loop to form back towards you, you know what I mean? You need to be going more towards the middle. There he is. Good man, Dave. Good man, Dave. Oh, he got off. <laughs> There's another up there in the middle. <laughs> Go on again now. Cast a little further up in the middle, not over there, in the middle. Now you're too far to the right, you need to be casting into the middle. Push that rod, make that rod work. Now you keep going over to the right, so correct it by going left. Push that rod, push it. You're still over to the right. So correct it Dave and go to, into the middle because that's where the fish is. You're still on the right. Cast towards the left bank and that might correct it for you. That's better. Walk up, walk up three or four paces. Because I'm sure there's another fish there in the middle. I cast them there now, right up the middle, not to the right, in the middle. Watch it now. Now, up again, go again. You need to cast another couple of yards, or else walk up a couple of yards, whichever. That's a good cast. Right. Now this time, try just over to your right again, where where you were casting all along that. That's it, along there. Right, Dave, I think they're gone down. Another yard, that way you won't be getting. Now, start fishing from there, off you go. Now watch, watch your fly when it hits the water and stay in touch without pulling on it, okay? Yeah. Off you go. Now push that rod. That's it, good. Mm. 
good. Now work the flight towards the middle, Bring, come in say four or five feet this direction. Good, excellent. Watch it now, watch it like a hawk. If you see a rise, strike. Good, excellent. Stay in touch, don't pull on it. Just watch the fly. You can see it, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now walk up three, four paces. There you go, look, he took it. <laughs> when you took your eye off the ball. Yeah. <laughs> go again now. Good. Watch it like a hawk now. Any rise, strike. Now over to the right a bit. There, yeah. Cast it in near the left bank here again now. Push that rod, make that rod work. That's it, good. Now you're making the rod work, excellent. Up the middle there now again. That's good casting Dave, you're getting much better at it. Now, another four feet to the right. Good. Right, hold it there a second. Right. Now, you know where he is. Creep up a couple of yards, yeah? Gently, keep close to the bank here, keep close to this bank. Right, cast up along there in the middle now. Don't fish for the actual fish that we saw rising because I'm fairly sure there's, there'll be one in the middle as well. No, in the middle, Dave. In the middle of the flow, not over there. That's over to the right again. Now, good man, Dave. <laughs> First trout on the dry fly. <laughs> Good stuff. Has he gone in the weeds? We'll just no, no, no. Haul on him. Don't, don't, no bother reeling. I'd say he's probably gone off now. Anyway, no, I haven't. You still have him, yeah? I don't think so. Go to the end of the line. Just don't bend the rod anymore. Just, just walk, walk into him. No, walk into him. See, is he still there? I doubt it very much. Just catch the line. Does it feel solid? Yeah. That means it's stuck in the weeds. All right. Don't pull. Yeah, this, he, he got into the weed, you see, right? And when you feel it's solid, you know, you know that he's there, but at least you hooked him. You Now you have to learn how to control him when you hook him, so yeah. that they don't do that. If it's a big fish, it's very difficult to control him, but a little handy. I, know, I see one. Right, where exactly is he? He's, see where the brown yeah. is hanging under? Right. He's about two or three foot out and about four Okay, up. so you know exactly where he is. So now all you need to creep up another small bit, right? Gently, as gently as you can. Right, and you need to dry that fly, so dry it with your, the quare stuff. And then, now off you go. You know where he is. Drop it up to him. Go on. Just drop it, drop it up in the middle there. I'm quite sure there's more than him there. Off you go. Hold it. Don't don't walk while you're casting. Cast. Remember what I said to you about this? Look. Yeah. Right. That that would send it directly to him. Go on. Good. Now you see you're too far to the right. Mm -hmm. See all those all those all that cast all yeah, that casting. It'll put, him down. it'll put him down if you keep doing it. So you need to drop it to him as quickly as you can. You're still out to the right. So to compensate for that, what you're going to have to do, I don't know, 
go to the left and it'll hopefully land in the middle. Don't keep walking, stand. That's it. Now that's where he was. Maybe because you've ca cast too many times, you see. But he may be there yet. Back up a couple of yards, there may be another fish further up. Good. Come on again. Push that rod. Now it's dragging, right? Okay. So just lift it off whenever it drags, lift it off and cast it up again. Keep into the left. That's it. Good. Good. That's where you wanted it. That's where the first cast should have been. Mm -hmm. The very first one. And you've made 20 there. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So all you've done is you've educated him. Okay, Dave. Your moment of glory here. Off you go. Cast it up there. I'm quite sure there's fish there. That's enough. Stand where you are. Don't keep moving. Stand where you are. Don't keep it to the middle of the river, Dave. Yeah. Just cast up to the middle because I'm almost certain there's fish there. I cast to the left. Now you see when you cast to the left it goes up the middle, so you're you're for some reason or other you're kind of you're erring to the right. Push that rod. That's it. Good. Okay. Try over to the right now. Push the rod. Make it work. That's it, now you're making it work. Now you got it. Now you got the feel for it. Slow down but push the rod. Now you got it. That's that's good casting. Now you got the you got the, the feel for the rod. Now up the middle again. Push it. Lovely cast. Great. Now, do you see that fish up there? Right, I'm going to come in beside you and try and get you... See if I can get you to catch him. I just let, let the fly drag behind you or hold it in your hands, whatever. Now, walk up along. Now, you're, you're starting to get the feel for the rod, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we know exactly where he is now, don't we? Yeah. So, I need you to put it exactly to him. Not over there, not in there, right to him, okay? First time, if you can. Now, nice and gently up along. Now you know where he is, he's directly there in front of you. Off you go. Good. You're just about a foot behind him, I think. Go again. Now push the rod, make the rod do the job. See him again, he's just barely moved on the left. Watch it now, he could come out first. Right, he's closer to the bank, Dave. Yeah. Okay. See, you keep going out to his right, okay? Oh yeah, and he's going left. You need to keep in. He's, he's only about a foot away from the bank. That's it. No, the, the wind took it there now, but watch it. He could come out for the fly. But he's very tight. See, that's where you need to be able to push the, the, the line. Yeah, you're pushing, but you're still too far to the right. Yeah. Now try again, Let's try and get close to the bank. That's better. Now if he takes this, it'll probably be very gentle because he's taken really gently.
What do they say is the definition of madness? Keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. I know, yeah. Now you got it. You're near enough on him now, I reckon. Yeah, I I'd say you may have put him down, but you keep trying it because where he is, it's unlikely you put him down because um, there's broken water and it's not so easy for him to figure things out. Go on again. So you keep doing the same thing, right? Cast over there to the right, just right over near the bank there. There's a fishy looking spot there. Watch for a rise now. Go again. You're up on the grass. Let it fall. That's okay. Watch it now. Don't, don't let it drag. That's good. Right. Come back here again to this fella. See, he, he may be moved back into position now. No, oh, that's six feet to his right. Yeah. Okay, so he needs to be right there. That's uh, too far to the left, but you're getting the right, you're getting there now anyway. Okay. okay. Drop your fly, see where that foam is? Yeah. Just drop your fly there. Not that far away, because it'll drag when it gets to him, right? So what you oh. need, just yeah. wait, wait, watch now, watch, watch, watch. You saw another one, did you? Yeah. Right, well, cover him. That's the one that was rising earlier. Just this one that I've He's close to the bank. No, so, it's just right in front of us here. Is he? Okay. All right, go again. Now remember your technique. There. You missed. Yeah, I didn't even see that. So hard to see. He might come again. Just drop it, drop it there. Right. Hold the rod slightly higher. There. Go on, Dave. Steer him over that way. That's it. Now bring him back this way. Break his balance every time. That's it. Good. St steer him away from the, the weeds. That's the important thing. Good man. Now, first trout ever on a dry fly. How's that feel? Brilliant. <laughs> They're both fucking tiny. <laughs> Well done, Dave. Be gentle with him. Yeah, I'll give you a right. bit of When you to get the hook out, right, you just turn it, turn it, you know where it's gone in, right? So you turn yeah. it on itself and you just pull it out like that. There you go, hold him there. Turn him around. First ever trout in a dry fly. Huh? Brilliant. First ever trout ever? Ever. <laughs> ever fly fishing. Right, let Feels him back in. Brilliant. There you go, little man. Now, you happy? Over there near the bank. Just looks fishy. But if there's anywhere there's a fish, it's just here. Hey, come out of those weeds. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Was my fly anywhere near him? Foot, foot, foot to the right. 
My fly was a foot to his right. No, you go to your right. Oh, all right, okay. Let's drag. Over there. Yeah. Snappers. Gone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you see. Yeah. Like, they're leader shy. He knew. The minute that hit it, he was gone. Yeah, the minute the fly came near him, he, he went, he, he scattered. Missed him. Ah, I got him that time though. <laughs> hey, we got an audience, look. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Right. Drag again, see it? Yeah. See it? Drag. Mm -hmm. They will not take it when it drags. I got drag free drip for just a second and he took it, but I missed. You say there was another somewhere? Fair enough. Oh, I see him, yeah, yeah. On the left. See that brown stick is just. I know where he is, yeah. And that was. Oh, and I missed him as well. I don't know why. He's a, he rose just again, so he's not really very perturbed by it. See the weeds pulling the fly? Yeah. Now. And I missed again. See what I mean about accuracy? You have to have it in the right place. They won't travel very far for it. Deadly accurate you have to be. And that comes It's dragging all over the place. Got him though. Now, spotted a fish rising just up there on that flat. Now we have this fast run here. Now that's going to help to camouflage my approach. There's that fish rising again. But in order to get a drag free drift on that fish, I'm going to have to get in here, creep around the other side of that what weed bed, or maybe this side of it, and get to just the front of the weed bed. And then what I have is I have a consistent current coming to me. A con it's relatively consistent. 
if I was to fish from here I have two currents to deal with and that's problematic so I'm going to get in here now and uh, let's see if I can get a cast of these fish without them figuring me out okay I think from, from over the side it'd be better. I'm using the weed bed to disguise my approach as well. It's absorbing any water that I'm pushing forward. Now, we're, now I'm in the, what I consider to be the right place. So here goes. Just gotta watch for that tree behind me. That's going to make it a little awkward as well. So I'm going to go to try and get another couple of yards further forward. Now they may have, they may even be alert to me already because they're super spooky and they, um, they pick up on everything. So here goes anyway. They haven't, no rise since I got in the river so that maybe that's not a a good sign. Ugh. Well, at least he was there. That was one of them, but I'm quite sure there's another up further. fish I just hooked there would probably scared the other one off anyway. There you go, now every strategy works. What a beautiful take. Get off. That was a beautiful take, head and tail, wasn't it? That's Gorgeous great. take. Really slow, and that's the thing, I think that's why I'm not hanging on to them because um, they're taken really slow and gently. And you need to pause for just a fraction so that you hook them properly. And I'm neglecting to do that. That's why I'm not hanging on to them. That was the classic head and tail rise. Okay, close to this bank here. He's in a very hard place to reach. Now I'm, I'm six feet too far to his right. That was a different fish. Yes, oh, same mistake. I keep making the same mistake. I'm striking too soon. I need to pause for a fraction. Remind me of that, will you? <laughs> try it. After missing the last two or three fish now because I didn't pause. I 
paused for the, the right amount of time. Still got off. Quack, 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 quack. Now, Dave, we're gonna have to go over here to get him out. Can you hold that wire down for me? Can I get in there? Try and get in here, release this fella. It's probably silk there now. Now, fella, off you go. An ideal spot for a nymph. See him? Mm -hmm. Dropped it on his nose. Bit of drag there. Dropped it right on his nose. And he duly obliged. See how dark that little fish is? Yeah. He's probably been living under a bush all his life. That's it folks, that was um, getting Dave to catch his first fish ever on a fly rod and to catch it on a dry fly is a great achievement. Um, he looks like he really enjoyed it anyway. Well Dave, what's your, what's your take on it? Give us a quick... Oh, it was unbelievable. No other feeling like it now to be honest. Great. And it hooked me straight away. I want to be back out in the river tomorrow to do it again. Excellent. So there you go. Another convert to the dry fly. So. Shine, folks, shine well, oh, I'm saying, I love, I guess, um, I'm a kind to reach, live, and care, or Ella. Slant Hamel.